Man, you know what? It's a nice night out. No bugs out. Low humidity. Sun setting. Man, it'd be great if I can watch some TV or a movie. Something out here. All right, guys, there we go. We got the game on the deck outside looking sweet. What's up guys, it's Raf in the Raf Cave. Welcome back to another video. Now this here guys is gonna be an outdoor theater experience. Now Mosaic Go is the name of the projector and Elite Screens is the name of the screen and they pair together to give you an easy portable way to bring your entertainment anywhere on the go. Because what's really great about it, it's battery operated so it can power up your, your devices. It's got built-in speakers, and it's also water resistant, just in case the elements rain on your parade. So I'm gonna unbox this for you. I'm gonna set it up for you. And we're gonna check out the quality and play some stuff on this screen combination. That's incredible, guys. I'm really excited about something that's so easy, portable, and good quality that you can bring anywhere and anyone can set it up. So without further ado, guys, Let's check out some specs on this system and we'll do the unboxing and we'll check out the quality. Let's get it guys. Like, subscribe, share. Let's smash this. All right guys, so what we got here is Mosaic Go. It's movies, music, power on the go. Now the reason why I say power on the go because the projector actually is like a battery. It's got 37,000 milliamps of power, which is fantastic. So what you're gonna get with this combination is a really good screen. It's a 58 inch screen. Easy, portable, lightweight, aluminum, sturdy. You also get a tripod for the projector and it's all simple setup. It's fantastic, guys. Looking at the projector, you're gonna have great specs. It's gonna be full 1080p resolution. You're gonna have an awesome LED DLP type projector, which is a short throw projector that gives you 25,000 hours of lamp life. It's got a speaker on and off button. You can have a lot of features on this projector. Touch keypad, ventilation ports, power on and off, your wireless speakers are there. A lot of good connections on this, fantastic. Up to 165 hours of charging capabilities for your cellular phone, tablets, or laptop devices. When you look at the screen, uh, screen distance, depending on the size screen you want, depends on the distance that you put the Mosaic uh, projector back. So with the 58 inch screen, you want to be about, about three and a half feet back. And then 70 inch, you go about six and a half feet back. And then your 80 inch, about nine and a half feet back. Now, now with this system, you're going to get the carrying cases. So it's easy to carry with you. Not very heavy at all. You're going to get the remote control, all the cables you need with the power adapter, which is great. Looking at the specs again, 1500 LED lumens, 1080p full native resolution. 25,000 hour lamp life, 20,000 to one contrast ratio, and really good speakers built in. Now guys, this can be brought to you in your know, camping trip. You know, if you're gonna go away for a bit, if you're gonna go on vacation, you know, maybe if you're going to a hotel or a motel or wherever you're staying and they don't have a decent sized screen, you can bring this with you, prop it up, and you got your own little theater screen going. But what's really great about this guys, you can bring it virtually anywhere, like say classrooms, conference rooms, offices, presentations, anywhere guys, or just a spare bedroom. It's, fa it's, fanta it's fantastic guys, it's fantastic. Now they say it's gonna give you an IPX2 water drip repellent capability, so you can use this outdoor and indoor, just in case there's some kind of uh, moisture in the air, or some kind of drops, you're still fine and good to go with this. Now the short throw DLP projector, 20,000 to one contrast ratio, up to 100 inches, it's gonna look really nice on the screen. So on the left side, guys, you're gonna have the Mosaic Go carrying case for the out outdoor projector. And then on top of that, you're gonna have the tripod carrying case that's meant for the tripod to go underneath the projector so you can put that nice stability in front of the screen. Now on the right side is gonna be the Elite Screen Yardmaster 2 Series outdoor projection screen. That's gonna be a 58 inch 
uh, screen that we'll unbox. So let's take this stuff out, show you what's inside, and then build this screen. All right, guys, let's take this box out and see what we got inside. All right, nice protection foam right here. Very good. Whoa, voila. Here we go. So on top, we're going to have the projector user guide. We're going to have the power brick for the power connection to the projector. We're going to have a standard HDMI cable. Looks around six feet. We're going to have a USB-C to USB-C cable. This could be for your cell phone or laptop to go directly into the projector as a video source. Going to have the remote control and the uh, power adapter to the brick. And now the main event. Look at this guy. I like the little protective uh, plastic covering. Very cool. Mosic Go. Boom. You have your touch panel, uh, uh, touch controls here. You have your focus ring here. On this side, you're going to have the Bluetooth speaker on and off, projector on and off. I imagine you have some LED lights here. It's kind of nice if you have a table, these little feet here are adjustable to raise and lower the project, uh, projector to match your screen. That's real nice. You can do that as well on the back side, which is great. On the side here, you're going to have your speakers and air vents. Looks like on the side here, And on the side here, you're going to have your controller, your inputs. This is going to be your HDMI, or I'm sorry, this is going to be your USB-C power out. This is going to be your USB 2.0 input. Looks like you have two of them. And this is your SD card, a mini SD card, micro SD card. So you want to put some photos on there, do a slideshow. And on the other side, we're going to have Looks like a uh, headphone jack and your HDMI port. Now what's great about this headphone jack is you can hook up your external uh, 3.5 speakers to this. So if you want to get something a little more booming, a little bit extra. You have your HDMI 2, so it looks like two HDMI inputs. And this is going to be your USB-C power out as well. And over here we're going to have your DC in from the power adapter and a trigger out which is cool also. And this is going to be your power. Make sure your vents are ventilated. And the bottom here is going to have your quick start guide. And you're going to have the, uh, the tripod um, hole here. Awesome. Now what we have here is the tripod that comes with it. Pretty standard tripod. It gives you a swivel. Turn left and right and you swivel up and down. And this piece will attach to the bottom of the projector. Go around right here. And then basically you kind of adjust it from there to fit wherever your screen is going to be. Very nice. And now for the screen itself. This is the Yardmaster 2 outdoor screen. Another nice case for portability. This is going to be a 55 to 58 inch screen. Got a little cloth here to uh, clean it if you need to. Nice. You get an extra bag just for the screen material itself. It's a nice touch. All right, and we have the frame of the screen and our two locking screws here. So 
So this here is the outer portion of the screen that the, uh, the screen is going to attach to. And then these are going to be the two feet that attach to that frame. And then the screws will keep it all together. So let's get this put together and uh, attach and see what it looks like. So before I put the screen together, guys, it's recommended that you charge the projector before you use it for the first time. So use the power brick, hook it up, and then you'll see an orange light flashing. Now that means it's actually going to be at around uh, 15 to 79%. And then when it turns green, it's at 80%. And then when it's a solid green, you've got 100% charge. So we'll let that uh, charge up in the meantime. So definitely want to do that. Now the instruction booklet is here. And we'll go through this a little bit. So basically tells you all the different controls on the device where all the controls are hidden under the flaps because it's got that water resistance. Talks about the touch controls on the actual projector itself and then of course all the buttons that the remote control gives you which is great. All the, all the uh, accessories that come with it definitely recommend charging it before use. And then your power button your Bluetooth button as well. Now what's great about the speakers built in is you can use the actual projector as a Bluetooth speaker from your phone or other device, which is really cool. And then you have your other inputs, of course. And if you want, you can actually plug in your phone to charge your phone while it's plugged into this as well. Remember, it's a battery pack as well, which is nice. And then hooking up devices, of course, you can use HDMI to HDMI or USB-C to USB-C. And then you have, the, of course, the, uh, the adjust uh, feet on the bottom to raise or raise or lower. Then you have your dimension guide for the type of screen you want to do. And remember they mentioned the headphone jack which gives you stereo output so if you want to hook up your external 3.5 millimeter speakers to this you'll give even greater sound if you'd like. And then of course the tripod and where to where to put the projector when you're setting it up. And then we'll get into the menu when we turn it on. So look at the, all the different uh, Options to tweaking out the picture and getting everything fit just right. So really great uh, specs on this guy. So this is really good. Up to 1080p. Really great DLP technology. I love DLP. Thousands and thousands of mirrors. 20,000 hour lamp life. Fantastic LED screen, LED bulb. It's just wonderful. Awesome guys. Well, let's get this projector uh, frame in, uh, in installed and put together and check it out. All right, guys, so we start with the main frame. So it's pretty straightforward. Just kind of open it up the way it wants you to, and it clicks in there. Pull that guy out. Click it on the side here where the blue tabs are. And at the very top, you want to just kind of click in the corners to make sure those are straight. 90 degrees. Click, click, click. And that's it, guys. Very, very easy. All right, so there's a sticker here that says bottom frame side. So this is going to be your bottom here, and this is going to be your top frame side, which is nice little stickers. I like that. Now, there's only one side that the screen material is going to go on. It's going to go snap in to these little clicks here. So we're going to do that now. Now we got our bag with the screen material inside. Extra foam covering, very good, nice touch. Always make sure you keep all the extra foam pads. You don't want to get rid of this stuff. When you put it back, you kind of want to put it back the way you got it. That way it ensures long lasting durability and performance. All right, so black side obviously is your back side here. And here's our screen. I'm going to look for that logo. And it looks like our logo is right here, the Elite Screen logo. So we're going to put that on the bottom. We're going to flip it over. And basically, guys, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is snap in these buttons into the frame to match them up. So we'll go around and do it now. And as you go, kind of pull the screen a little bit as you go to keep a nice tension. Of 
I would do the two sides first. Just like when you're putting together a projection screen, there's a certain way you want to do it. So we got the two sides done. Now I'll start with the top from the middle. Boom, boom, boom. And on the bottom, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna do this opposite bottom. Let's do the top. Boom, boom, boom. And then the final one at the bottom. One, two, and finally, three. So there's your screen. Now it does have some nice tension to it, which is nice. You want to kind of eliminate any wrinkles as possible. So that's good. All right. So our screen is put together here. And now we got the feet here. So let's pull this out like, like so. Push in. So you click. And there's one. Same thing on the other side. Snap, snap, and there's our two legs. So now, I think the best way to do this with one person is to do one side at a time. All right, guys, so now that we have our screen put together, we want to put the two legs on, on the bottom here. So this is the bottom of the screen here. And we want to take one of our legs and you want to make sure that little M design is facing back. See, facing the back of the screen. Easy as that, just snaps right in. You got a little hole right here. And that's where one of your little screws go. Boom, just like that. Easy as pie. Let's do the other side. This screen is very light, guys. One person easily can do this. All right, flip it over. Backside is here. Look for the M. M goes towards the back. Slide that guy in, easy. And then another, our second one. Goes right into the screw hole here. Boom. And here is your screen. 58 inches of portable, large screen glory. Goes anywhere. Business, casual, indoor, outdoor, water resistant, lightweight, wonderful. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, now for the tripod, so we're going to put the projector on this tripod here. Um, you want to take this little piece off here. So basically, easily just pull this little lever. Pull this little piece out here. Because I think you just screw this onto the bottom of the projector and just clip it in right in here. Real nice. So on the bottom of the projector, I'm going to put this right into the hole here. Basically just spit it on there. Boom. Just like that. And then now. It's locked in. Just like that. So now. So now I can just prop this up. Keep it as low or high as I want on this tripod. Once we get it turned on, but basically, essentially, is all you do is you put it right in front of the screen. Boom. There's your 58 inch. And we'll get our stuff plugged into it and check it out. Okay, guys. So we have the projector put on the tripod. Now the, the AC power adapter is plugged in because we want to charge this as full as possible so we can bring it outside. It's going to have us, you know, up to three hours of uh, runtime. So we're leaving that plugged in. It's still charging. As you can see, it's blinking. That means it's around 80% battery life. Once it goes solid green, then it means it's fully charged. Now, we also have an HDMI cable plugged into it, and that's going to our Xbox uh, One S. 
so that way we can get some content on the screen. So without further ado guys, let's turn it on. Here's the remote control, and we're gonna press the projection on button here. And there's our light. You can hear the fan spinning a little bit. And there we go. Holy moly, we got lots of screen. All right, so we're gonna back up a little bit here. And we're gonna try to fit this on the, the 58 inch screen. Cause remember this, can, this, this projection can go up to hundred inches, right? So we wanna make sure that we're gonna fit this 58 inch screen here. Okay, now, so what we wanna do is you wanna bring this down It's like we're gonna lower the tripod even too, lower the legs of the tripod. Bring this down quite a bit here. All right, so basically we're putting the tripod in the bottom position, as low as it goes. Okay, now we're gonna adjust the, the tilt on the tripod here. Looks like we need to go up a little bit more. Searching input, adjust up and down to adjust the keystone. Now, keystone is going to be the actual, uh, you know, tilting of the of the image so it fits flat on the screen. That's a nice touch. All right, let's get the Xbox turned on. And boom, there is our Xbox. Sweet, that was fast. Okay. All right, now that we got a picture up, let's turn down the brightness a bit. Not brightness of the projector, but brightness in this room here. All right, so we just turned off the lights in this area. So just press this three lines again. Go to the right, and there's your display uh, screen. You can choose auto power off. You've wanted to turn off after a certain amount of time. And then you have your uh, horizontal and vertical position. Horizontal and vertical position means you're gonna take the image and move it to the left, right, up, or down. Uh, to clear up any kind of uh, overshoot, overscan. RGB, um, this is where you can ch change your color, your color temp and your gamma. Um, so gamma 2.4 and 6500 Kelvin, that's going to be your more, more natural warm uh, image. So that'll look really clean. Um, color effect, there's different modes there. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's Keystone again. Don't want to go up and down, just go left or right. Um, color effect, we're in vivid now, but you can change that to user mode. That way you can change it to, to make it look the way you want. Standard is just your standard basic mo mode. Game mode, your, your game enhanced mode. And this has a pretty low input lag. This is going to be at 17 milliseconds. There's your movie mode. And then photo mode for your, for your photos, SD card. And then your vivid mode gives you that pop if it's a little bit of uh, light out. Uh, color format, we leave it RGB. And then there's your hue and saturation at the bottom. If you leave it at uh, user mode, then you can change the, the tint and color. All right, so back at the top again, move over to advanced. That's going to be your aspect ratio. So original means you're going to, it's going to display exactly what you're feeding it. So if it's a widescreen, you're going to get the widescreen. If you're feeding it a 4x3 square image, you're going to see a 4x3. But you can also force it to be in 4x3 mode or 16x9 as well if you want to stretch something out. Uh, orientation doesn't matter. This is a, a, a short throw tabletop only kind of projector here. Uh, ultra vivid is going to give you a little more um, uh, sharpness, a little more uh, detail in the image. So leave it at medium. You can go low or high on that too. Uh, and we'll move over again. That's going to be about the basics of that. Uh, what else? Oh, here we go. Uh, other is going to be your 12 volt trigger. 12 volt trigger, so if you want to have this turn on with another device, um, you can do that. Uh, Keystone, of course, is going to be your shifting the, the image to make it flat on the screen. Language, of course, is your main menu uh, language. Transparency is how, how, uh, how transparent you want the, the menu to look. You want to be able to see through the whole menu or have a little bit of a black background so it's easier to see when stuff's going on uh, in, the, uh, in the image. Uh, there's your sport. We'll turn that on. This is a sport model. Um, I think this times out after a few moments. 
uh, buzzer. Not sure what that is. And then your factory reset there. And then information is just basically what you're feeding it. So we're sending it a full 1080p 60 frame or 60 hertz uh, signal. So that's good there. All right, so that's a, that's a rundown of the remote control and the main menu there. Now there's a Bluetooth button on here. So if you want to activate the, the speakers inside the projector to make it a, a speaker from like your phone, you can actually um, pair it with your device to make it a Bluetooth speaker. Otherwise, we're just going to hear sounds coming out of the, uh, the projector itself. There is volume controls and a mute button on here as well. There's your volume screen or volume indicator on the screen. All right, guys. Let's play some. Uh, let's play some Gears Five. Speaker's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna turn down the uh, the lights here. Well, the speaker's good. All right, we're in a dark room right now. Got a bright picture. We're in that vivid mode right now. Well, let's turn it down a little bit. That's pretty loud. There we go. So it definitely has good speakers built in. I give it a thumbs up for that. Now this is a Cine white screen. So this will show really nice good clarity, but you got to make sure you're in a darker room or a little bit of a, 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 um, a shadowy area when you set this up. Otherwise it's very responsive. Very responsive. Oh yeah, you can play games on this just fine. Yeah, this feels real good, guys. This looks nice. 1080p goodness. Alright guys, we're flipping it over to TV. So TV is fine. Um, what do we got? Let's find a non-copyright channel here. That's why Salesforce so yeah, picture looks fine. In a dark room, no problem at all. This looks just fine. Yeah, it looks great, guys. TV plays just fine. Now, you might see a, a few um, uh, bend marks or fold marks in the screen. Um, that's going to come naturally because you're folding up the screen when you're not using it. But, it, you know, still you're getting a large screen. I mean, it's a 58-inch screen, portable. We'll just set it up within, you know, 5-10 minutes. And you're watching TV outside or inside or anywhere you want, right? So it's, it's a small it's a small little sacrifice, but totally fine. All right, guys. So we're going to plug in an, a Galaxy S10 phone into the USB-C and see if we can get uh, video off of our phone. So we unplug the HDMI port. We're going to reveal the USB-C port. All right. Plug that guy in there. Turn on our phone here. <clears throat> And there's our phone right there. Cool. So now say if I want to go to YouTube and then I want to look up like uh, a 4K video. All right. There's our video. Go horizontal and boom. There is our full screen action. Turn up the volume a little bit. And there's our volume. Picture looks fantastic. Very, very good. And this is a DLP projector, so DLPs, you know, they always know about detail. When you have those individual mirrors on that chip, detail is always good. Yep, no uh, no blur, no motion blur at all. This looks very clean, very, very smooth, very nice. So yeah, the phone video looks great. Everything looks good on this thing. Very, very cool. So when you hook up your laptop, just make sure you use an HDMI cable, or if you have a newer one, the USB-C out directly to the projector and use it as a mirrored uh, display or separate secondary monitor, primary monitor. Any kind of HDMI device you want, plug it in and play it on the screen. It's that simple. All right, guys, there we go. We got the game on the deck outside looking sweet twins are playing looking awesome
got it right on the tripod right there. And it looks great. It looks absolutely awesome. Let me tell you guys, the speaker is great. The sound on this thing is loud. It's almost like the sound is amplified when it bounces off the floor and then bounces off the screen. It just becomes like this 3D sound. It's really, really nice. Now guys, what I got going is I have a fire stick plugged into the HDMI port and then I have the USB cord going into the side here because the USB-C is a power uh, connection. Um, right after that, that. the game. The, uh, the USB-C is a, is a power connection, so you can actually power devices with that. So I have this little uh, USB to USB-C adapter here that's powering the fire stick, and it works perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's awesome. Let's see if we can get some Netflix on here. Look at this picture, guys. It's great. So I use uh, HD Home Run as my uh, tuner on the fire stick. It's fantastic. So I can watch live TV that HD check out some Netflix this is crazy this is backyard and I got a, a 58 inch screen back here this is glorious so there we got Netflix going we even got some transformers how cool is that here's the back of it This thing is great. This little thing is great. Easy to set up, guys. Only 10 minutes to set this up. And you get some great quality out of this thing. This is really, really nice. Plays video games. Use it as a, a second monitor for your laptop. Plug your phone into it. Use it as a screen from your phone. It's got great sound. Let me get the sound going. Look at the sound. <laughs> Transformers. Of the Autobot resistance. It literally sounds like the sound is coming from the screen itself. It's coming from the screen, basically. Super awesome. I cannot help but ask myself, is this a hopeless crusade? Have my actions led to the extinction? Very impressive, guys. The Mosaic projector, DLP projector with the Elite screen. Great stuff, man. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check yours out. But it's a great, great addition to any household that wants to bring entertainment with them anywhere. Portability is fantastic. No cords. Battery pack lasts up to three hours. Bright picture. It looks sweet. And you can get your own speakers attached to it if you want to give you more surround. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this unboxing, setup video, and review video on this Mosaic Go projection system with Elite Screens. Pretty awesome, guys. I had a good time with it. Uh, great quality for 1080p DLP projection. 10 minutes, set it up. You're, away you go. It's just awesome. It's a great investment for your family if you like to travel. You want to have entertainment going with you. A couple bags you bring with you and you got the whole setup. It's great. Great sound, easy to use, good quality, and Elite Screens and Mosaic Go. Great combination, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, share. Description below with links on how to get yourself a portable entertainment system. All right, guys. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.